Hey guys, I wanted to revisit an app today called Switcher. Now, I looked at this a while ago, but it's had a fair few upgrades and it's got some new improvements that I really wanted to show you guys. And yeah, if you haven't heard of Switcher before, it's basically an alternative way to switch between your tasks on Android. We all know the old method, or the normal method I should say, of using this and you, you pick your application, it'll switch between it. But Switcher gives you an alternative method and their newest addition is something called Arc. And you can swipe in from the left here and you basically get this semicircle of your open applications and to switch between them you just highlight one and lift your finger and boom it's going to open it and you can just see how easy this is and how quick it can actually be as well probably a little bit quicker than if you were using the normal method so this to me is awesome and it's really good especially if you don't have a navigation bar like me and you're using pi the whole time this is going to make your life a little bit easier so yeah let's look at this in a bit more detail so the first time you start Switcher up, this is what you'll see. It's a tutorial on how to get it set up and how to use it. So we'll just go through this. We'll hit next. Switcher is activated by swiping in from the edge of your screen. Hit next again. Keep hitting next here, next. And eventually you're going to have to select a style. And there's three different styles to choose from. Flow, slide, and arc. You can change them after you've selected them here. But my favorite is definitely arc. So that's what I'm going to select right now. We'll hit that and it just gives you a little guide on how to do it so swipe in from the left here and there's your arc so we're all set up basically we're ready to go and let's go ahead and configure it now i should mention i am using the paid version of the app so if you're using the light version you won't have as many options as i'm about to show you but let's go ahead and start now you can specify which edge you're going to use it on so of course i'm using it on the left edge but you can use the right edge or bottom edge if that's what if that's something you want it to uh, to do and more specifically, you can edit the margins, and this is very important to me. So by default, you can see just how much of the screen or the left side of the screen it's going to take up. Now, I want to make that a lot smaller, and that's something I can do. So I can only access it from just that little area, which is going to kind of decrease the amount I'm going to access it by accident, which is pretty important to me. I don't want to do that. You can move that around if that's something you want to do as well. And you can change the sensitivity there so you don't hit it by accident when you're swiping along screens or anything like that. You can also uh, include a visual indicator and that kind of adds a little bubble there if you can see that little bubble. Um, I don't want that on because I want it to be a kind of clean look and you can have it vibrate on trigger. There's also black and white listing here as well. So swiping over here, we have show app name. I've got that activated at the moment. I'll show you exactly what that is. So you can swipe in and you can see on the right hand side as I toggle through, you can see the app name, pretty self-explanatory there. We have glow under touch, background opacity, icon size. So if you want the icons to be smaller, you can do that. You can see it's uh, now pretty damn small. Or if you uh, whoops, or if you want to make it bigger, you can also do that as well. There now they're kind of huge. So that is completely up to you. I'm going to leave it around here. There's also a task limit, but you can set it all the way up to 10 if that's something you want. 10 icons there, that's uh, completely up to you. I'm going to leave it on around 7. Live switching is something that's pretty cool, but I don't really use it. If you turn it on, essentially when you hover over the app, it's going to allow, it's going to automatically switch to it. So you'll see once it kicks in in a second, there we go. It's going to switch between, what's the wrong application? It's going to switch between the applications just as you hover over it. That's not something I want it to do but it's there if you do want it to do that. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Home shortcut, you can have a home shortcut and you can have it set to vibrate on selection. There's also a support section here. Now there are also gestures, but you can see they're not available when recent apps are being used. So you need to swipe over to general, change the switching mode from recent to running. Now when we try this, you'll see that when we pull this out now, we have a kill all button for one. And if you wanna kill just one app, you swipe over to it and then over swipe and you can see it's turned red, let go, and then YouTube will now be shut. You can see YouTube is now not there to be accessed. So those gestures work really well. So let's move over to the different styles. Now I said Arc was my favorite, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the different styles. So the number one here is flow and let me just select this and i'll show you exactly the differences so instead of that arc now when we drag it over you'll see we have this look and you can kind of just swipe between these and it'll it'll go between them and you can just let go and it's going to toggle between the tasks now it works really well but for me it's not quite as clean as that arc look if we go back into style there's one more to choose from and this is slide this one for me isn't it isn't very useful at least in my opinion i just think it's a little bit cumbersome so you swipe in from the uh oops you swipe in from here and you can see you get twitter you swipe back and it will change the application gmail youtube hangouts 
Play Store and then you let go on the one you want and it switches between it. So that's the different flow styles or the different styles I should say. So there you have it guys. Now my favorite by far has got to be the arc. This is absolutely awesome, especially if you're someone that doesn't have a navigation bar. This arc is gonna come in really useful and once you get used to it, it's very quick to switch between your applications. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.